What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube here this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when and where you are watching this video from, and I'm going to have a very good informational video for everybody. Again, check out my Instagram here at Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube and my eBay at Tim's Cards and Games. If this video helps you, if it saved you money, if it saved you from potentially buying a counterfeit God card, please feel free and consider donating or contributing to my Patreon account down in the description below. Not necessary, but again, this video is going to discuss the differences in the counterfeit and the real and authentic GBI God Card set, the ultra rare versions, again with the code name GBI. So, just a little background history on these cards. As you can see here, the three God Cards, Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw, the original God Cards, the originals, came in Japan in a Game Boy Color game in Japanese in secret parallel rares, but in terms of English cards only for this video, we are only going to discuss the English ultra rare GBI God cards. Yes, there was also a secret rare version, but we're not going to get into it in this video because the ultra rare versions, as you can see with the gold lettering and this kind of foil, these three cards are among the most counterfeited cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Probably the most counterfeited Yu-Gi-Oh! cards ever to be produced. Uh, so it's something to definitely keep an eye on. If you have some of these and you want to make sure they're authentic and real, this is the video for you. If you're looking to buy these and you want to make sure uh, that you're buying the real deal, then please continue watching this video and again consider... Uh, looking at my other outlets, my Instagram, eBay, and of course, Patreon, if this video helps you. But, uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. These three cards, again, considered the most counterfeited cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! So counterfeited, and so looking uh, like they are genuine cards, that people actually very well mistake them all of the time. A lot of people say, I have the set of three God cards, and when you look at it, you say... Unfortunately, these cards are not the real deal. They are not authentic cards, and they are knockoffs. That's something you never want to hear. So, taking a look at the cards here, this is the Slifer. Okay, everything looks good. Obelisk looks good. And here's the Raw. But now we have another set here. And let's take a look. Here's another Slifer. Here's another Obelisk. And here's another Raw. So as you can see, when you see them in the cases, uh, from a somewhat distance, you know, these cards all look authentic now, don't they? One thing to note, one of these sets is authentic, and one of these sets is counterfeit. So, which one, do you ask, is the real one, and which one is the counterfeit one in terms of the sets? Well, let's take a look first at this set. Let's take it one card by one card. We're going to zoom in and go into serious detail on every one of these cards. So let's compare the Slifers, right? Now you'll notice right away, let's zoom in here. Now, again, just disregard the crease, but you'll notice right away on the Slifers, there's something very different about the two. Now on the left one, you have a more glossy surface, correct? You could see from the flash, it kind of reflects the flash. Whereas this one, the surface is kind of uh, metallic, almost glossy, yes, but in a different sort of fashion. This is almost waxy, and this is more glossy, if that makes any sense. Now again, too, if you look at the photos, you could see almost like the slifer on the right one, the photo kind of, it's tough to say, or tough to see, I should say. But the photo kind of has an outline here. You could almost see the outline of the photo, whereas this one, when you have a flash on it, it just kind of blotches out completely. Second thing to note is the attributes. And this is probably the most important part of the video. So let's take a look real in detail on this attribute level. So let's see. This one, the stars are big. And this one, the stars are a lot smaller. Let's take a look at a Yu-Gi-Oh card, an authentic Yu-Gi-Oh card, and you'll notice which one looks more like the authentic one. Is it this Slifer? Look at the stars here. Let's see if we could zoom. Oh, we can zoom in a little bit more. Is it this one on the left? 
or is it this one? So again, let's take a look, because I think the best way to learn is actually to see it firsthand, quiz yourself, and see if you could really get the right answer. Which one looks more like the authentic one? If you answered the bottom slifer, you are correct. The bottom slifer is the real one here. This one is the fake. Another thing to note is, let's take a look here at the text. As you can see on the left one, the Divine Beast text, and the right one, the Divine Beast text, it is just a little bit off. In the attack and defense, see the XOOO and the XOOO here, the attack and defense are much shoddier, um, not as well crisp, not looking too good on the left one, whereas the right one looks much more spaced out, correct? And finally, let's see if we could really zoom in here and take a look at the copyright. As you can see, the copyright on the left, where's the C? The C is so close to the circle that you really can't even distinguish there's a C there next to the 1996. Where's the right one? You could see the little uh, C here. And it's more crisp. It's a thinner line. It's a more uh, detailed copyright symbol, whereas the left one is really a bolder, thicker line that just does not look too good. Again, the right one you have that nice crisp C, on the left one you have that kind of blotchy C. And again, going back to the foils, you'll notice here's a good shot. The, the uh, slifer or the dragon still kind of shows, just the background is kind of... Um, washed away under lighting, kind of like a Japanese holographic card, if you have one of those, or another video game promo. Whereas the left one, again, it just kind of blotches all out. But the biggest thing to note here is definitely the attribute stars. These are not the right stars. They're much bigger, they're much thicker. And of course, the card quality, the color quality, the print quality, this just looks a lot more blotched out doesn't look as nice, it doesn't pop as nice, um, but again, the biggest differential definitely is the stars on the card, the attribute stars, and the copyright symbol, as well as the text and the font. You could see the font is just much crisper on this right one, which is the real deal. And again, let's take a look at the backs, zoom out a little bit, uh, the backs, you know, you're not looking for any, obviously, any logo. And these are also GBI cards. One last thing to note as well. The right, well, the left one, which is the fake one. Notice how, notice the GBI 001. Now, if you notice, it's actually GB1 here, correct? Let's see if I could focus in. GB1. And if you look at the right one, that is GBI. So GBI, this looks more like a 1 here, right? Looks more like a 1. And this one is the GBI, which GBI is the one you're looking for. GBI is the authentic one. So that's something important to note as well. And again, let's just take a look at the obelisks. And good news on the obelisk. There is no real crease or whatnot on them, so... Uh, here we go. This one is authentic. As you can see here, the the light kind of reflects to where you have still the outline of the authentic card, whereas this one, it kind of just got that waxy surface. Uh, this one, again, you have that nice outline of obelisk. And now let's take a look at the GBI. Looks good. The copyright, nice and crisp. The font also looks good. And the left fake one. You have that GB1 again. You have uh, the stars of attribute stars are much, much worse than the right one. Uh, the right one is a lot cleaner, more colorful, crisper, and these yellow stars are not really showing as much. They kind of fade into the red, whereas this one, these yellow stars are much too thick. Uh, so again, the attribute stars are the big key here as well as the... Uh, text fonts, and the copyright symbol. So, again, the right one is the real deal. The left one is the fraud. And lastly, let us take a look at the fake 
Wing Dragon of Raw and the real Winged Dragon of Raw. And again, you could see there's that difference in gloss. This is more glossy, this is just more waxy. And look at those stars. The right star, the attribute level, much, much cleaner, much, much crisper. And the left one kind of messy. And again, let's take a real Yu-Gi-Oh card. Does this one look like this? I don't think so. Does this one look like this one? I think so. So that's the biggest differential, in my opinion, for a quick, easy look. And again, the font is still kind of off. And you have more font off on the left. You have the attack and defense really just way off. And you have GBI, which is not GB1. It's really GBI. See, you could see the I here. And you could see the one on the fake one on the left one. And lastly, the copyright on the fake one is pretty blotchy, whereas the copyright on the right one is nice, crisp, clear, and thin. Uh, so that should about do it. Uh, the backs look very, very accurate. And again, all of these games were inserted into the Japanese Worldwide Edition Game Boy Advance game, which was actually a Japanese game with the English promos inside. So if you have any questions, did I just help you? Again, feel free to shoot me a message. Shoot me and ask me any message, uh, either on Instagram, comment here on YouTube. Uh, or of course, feel free to contribute in Patreon, whatever it may be. But hopefully this video helped. So let's just wrap it up one more time. You know what we're going to do? We're going to mix all six. We're just going to mix them together. All right. The reels and the fakes. And we're just going to go by one by one and see if you could guess it correctly. What's this one? Real or fake? Let me hold it for a second or two. And you could decide yourself, and I'll reveal it. This card is authentic. How about this one? Real or fake? This card is real. Two for two. This card, real or fake? This card is fake. Notice the stars, copyright, GB1. That's not good. This one, real or fake? Well, obviously this one is the real one. This one, real or fake, this one is counterfeit. And the last one, real or fake, this one is a fake. Again, notice the C, notice the attribute, noted the f notice the faded colors, notice the text, notice the GB1 instead of GBI. And that will do it, guys. Hopefully this helped you out. And again, put the real ones on the bottom and the fake ones on top so let's just go right through this one more time zoom in on them i'm sure you probably have turned this video off at this point but if you haven't just a recap let's uh put it all in one frame for simplicity terms okay nice and organized so let's go right through it. There's the fakes on the top left, top middle, and top right, and the authentics on the left, middle, and right. There you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube signing out.